The Valenzuela Medical Center was initially established as a 25-bed primary local hospital known as Valenzuela Emergency Hospital in the year 1979. Its operation was transferred to DOH in 1985 and was renamed as Valenzuela District Hospital. Pursuant to Republic Act 7218, its bed capacity increased to 100 beds in 1992. The hospital transferred to its present site in Carohatan, Valenzuela City in 1999 and was renamed as Valenzuela General Hospital. It is a four-story concrete building situated on an 1,800 square meter lot. To support the growing healthcare needs of the people, the four major clinical services had been departmentalized. The pediatrics and obstetrics and gynecology departments are now accredited by their respective society. On April 10, 2007, Republic Act No. 9421 was signed by then-President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, upgrading the Valenzuela General Hospital into a 200-bed capacity tertiary level 4 teaching and training hospital, presently known as the Valenzuela Medical Center through the efforts of the late Congressman Antonio Serapio. In 2011, VMC started to rent a three-story building across from the hospital to house the executive and administrative offices to put up more services and increase its capabilities. It is currently licensed and accredited as Tertiary Level 3 by the Department of Health and Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. Na accident po ako, pumunta dito sa Venezuela Medical Center at binigyan nila ng unang lunas para mawala yung sakit ng pa at palakasin yung muscles. Sa ikaapat na session ko, uh, medyo nag-improve nag na ako at nakakalakad na ako ng maayos. Una po, dito po ako nung nag-labor ako. Sa awan ng Diyos, okay naman yung paano ng mga nurse. Doktor. And, kaya dito na rin ako nagpa-check up dahil kung ano mangyari sa, sa akin at sa aking anak, agad-agad naman silang ano, sa iyo ay assist ka naman po agad na. Ah, nandito po kami ngayon para po magpagamot uh, dahil po nagkaroon ng piksa yung baby ko. OPD po muna kami. Nagpina-check up po, po muna siya sa OPD. Tapos, and ano kami, ah, uh, in nag-advise yung doktor na i-admit na siya kasi ano na daw, malala na daw yung mga hulit. Okay naman po, maganda po. Kaya nga po dito kami nagpapacheck at dito po kami nagpapagamot kasi uh, garantisado po talaga. Ex based on experience ko na rin po last year kasi dito po ako ng anak. Magagaling po talaga yung mga doktor. Gamit po, malaki, malaki po yung pinag-improve mga gamit. Tapos yung, ito, yung malinis, mas naging malinis siya. Uh, ano pag pinaganda para sa mga pasyente, para maging komportable po yung stay namin. In terms of uh, infrastructure, they are undergoing expansion of the hospital at the back and at the front. While uh, the staffing requirement, we are hiring nurses, doctors, and even admin personnel. We are also upgrading our equipment to serve better our patients. We posted uh, this uh, citizen's charter that includes the patient rights, instructions, the person's responsibility, and even the rates of procedures. We posted also suggestion boxes for patient satisfaction. We have our own patient assistance and complaints unit yet to have to address all the complaints of those from patients. We are also complying with the policies of the Civil Service Commission, especially the ethical conduct of uh, public servant. All the grievances are being addressed as soon as possible. Maraming salamat sa Valenzuela Medical Center at sa lahat ng taong bumubuo na ito. Maraming salamat po. 
maraming salamat po sa mga doktor, sa mga nurse, sa inyong lahat po dito po sa Valenzuela Medical Center. Salamat po. Uh, God bless po sa inyo.